Hello everyone! My name is Simone Yelov, and today we are going to be reading The Beasties by Jenny Nimmo and Gwen Mulward. The Beasties came to Daisy's house on a night when she couldn't sleep. Her new room was too strange, and her new bed was too big. As she lay awake, listening to the sounds in the street. She didn't see Weevil, Flute and Ferdinand creep into her room. She didn't see them spread their treasures underneath her bed. There were shells and buttons, feathers and pearls, beans and flowers, silver and gold. As Daisy stared into the dark, she heard a growly sound. What was that? Daisy's heart went pit-a-pat. Was it a truck in the street? No, it sounded like a story. This ring belonged to a faraway king, said Ferdinand's growly voice. I used to guard his treasures while he slept. One night, two robbers crept up. They didn't see me at first, but suddenly I leapt out. I roared. I breathed fire. I bared my shining teeth and flashed my razor-sharp claws. With screams of terror, those robbers ran for their lives. The faraway king was so pleased, he gave me this ring for my bravery. And that's the end of my story. Daisy wondered about that ring. Was it gold or silver? Or studded with jewels? She wondered and wondered until she fell asleep. The very next night, as Daisy lay awake in her big new bed, in her strange new room, she heard a clicking sound. What was that? Daisy's heart went pit-a-pat. Was it a tree tapping the window? No, it sounded like a story. This feather belonged to a beautiful bird, said Weevil in his clickety voice. When I was young, I travelled on a sailing ship. I used to feed a beautiful bird with crumbs from a biscuit tin. When the ship was wrecked in a terrible storm, the sailors escaped in their boats. But I was left alone on a shore where dangerous creatures lived. They looked at me hungrily. But then down came my friend, the beautiful bird, just in time to rescue me. She gave me this feather for friendship. And that's the end of my story. Daisy closed her eyes. She dreamed that she was in the sky, flying with the beautiful bird. The very next night, as Daisy lay awake, she heard a musical sound. What was that? Daisy's heart went pit-a-pat. Was someone whistling a tune? No, it sounded like a story. This button was stitched to a princess's coat piped flute in his musical voice. When the princess was small, I used to sing her to sleep. One day, in a game of hide and seek, the princess disappeared. I searched for my princess everywhere. I thought she was lost forever. And then, in the forest one moonlit night, I saw a girl playing with wolves. I sang the princess's favourite song, and she recognised the tune. I was lost, she cried, but now you have found me. She gave me this button for faithfulness. We said goodbye to the friendly wolves, and I led my princess home. Daisy's eyes were already closed. Flute's musical voice had sung her to sleep. The following night, Daisy lay awake, wondering if a story would begin. 
but everything was quiet. Daisy stared into the dark and cried. I wish I could have a story. Something rustled. What was that? Daisy's heart went pit-a-pat. It wasn't a musical sound, or a tree by the window, or a truck in the street. What shall we do next? said a growly voice. Daisy jumped. There was another rustle. Where was it coming from? Daisy was really brave. She put on her bedside light and slowly, very slowly, looked under her bed and saw... The Beasties! Daisy opened her mouth to scream, but she didn't because the Beasties were very, very small. Don't be afraid, said one. We're storytellers. My name is Weevil. I'm Flute, piped the next beastie. And I'm Ferdinand, growled the last. Don't tell anyone you've seen us. I won't, said Daisy. But please, can I have another story? Flute looked thoughtful. I think you can tell your own story, he said. And he held out a shell. All by myself? Daisy wasn't sure. At first the shell looked very ordinary, but then she put it to her ear and heard the sea. Daisy thought hard, then she said slowly, This shell belonged to a mermaid. Where was the mermaid? asked the beasties. Daisy thought hard again. She was in the sea and the shell was in her hair. She was crying because she was caught in a net. And, and so I jumped onto a rock. I nearly fell but I took her hand and pulled her out. The mermaid gave me the shell for saving her. Daisy smiled to herself and held the shell tight. She closed her eyes and dreamed she was a mermaid. Night, night, Daisy, whispered the beasties. Your bed won't seem so big anymore, and your room won't seem so strange. You can tell your own stories now. And they crept out of her room. That's the end of our story for today. Thank you so much for listening. Cảm ơn các bạn đã lắng nghe. Mong rằng các bạn cảm thấy thú vị khi đọc cuốn sách này cùng tụi mình. Cuốn sách nói với The Long Book này được thực hiện bởi Lotus Community là một dự án thư viện phí lợi nhuận. Lotus Community mong muốn những cuốn sách tiếng Anh chất lượng tốt có thể tới tay mọi gia đình khắp đất nước Việt Nam. Để tìm hiểu thêm về dự án, các bạn vui lòng ghé qua lotuscommunity.org.vn nhé.